Well, today marks four years since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Since that time, millions of people all over the world have died from the virus and many continue to feel the impact of long COVID today. The World Health Organization dropped its global health emergency designation in May of last year. That said, COVID is not done with us yet, even though many of us have moved on. The J N1 variant of COVID became the dominant strain in January and remains the prevailing strain across Canada. With me now is Isaac Bogotch, infectious disease specialist. Dr. Bogotch, good morning to you. Four years. Good morning. Seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Yeah, that was a long, long, long four years and still continues to be a long time. But you know what? We we certainly have made it through the worst of it. And uh, obviously, it's still here. It hasn't gone away. Uh, but, you know, there were some very dark days a couple of years ago. Indeed, there will. Do you think we'll ever be done with COVID? No, I mean, this virus is, is here to stay. It's going to circulate for an indefinite period of time. It's still going to have an impact. It's just not going to have that same horrendous impact that it once had where a singular pathogen overwhelmed our healthcare system and, uh, and, and just brutalized the planet. Now, of course, not gone, still here, but we have so much higher levels of community level protection through vaccination. And of course, we don't want anyone to be infected, but you just can't deny that so many people have been infected and recovered from infection that we have a much more significant degree of community level protection through immunity. So people, people still can get sick. It's just not like what we saw a couple of years ago. So what have we learned in the last four years since the pandemic began? Well, there's several positive things. Uh, and, you know, I think we saw what happens when you invest in science and scientists. Uh, we saw, you know, vaccines, uh, you know, produced and, and underwent clinical trials and, and, and were readily available to you know, high income countries initially, unfortunately, not the entire world. But, you know, when you invest in science and scientists, you can do some pretty incredible things over a short period of time. We have, a, you know, I think we have a much more health literate society. I mean, it wasn't every day you hear people talking about PCR and rapid tests and, and you know, mRNA. So, you know, there certainly were some positives. I think the negative impact was, you know, even before the pandemic, we saw the misinformation and disinformation machines churning on social media. And uh, that certainly ramped up during the pandemic and hasn't, <laughs> hasn't really wound down. So, you know, we, we've learned something for the better and others for the worse, unfortunately.